From habitat to adaptations, land and sea-dwelling animals have both similar and different characteristics. On one hand, they're a lot more alike than we can fathom. On the other, the most differences lie in body parts, body coverings, and behaviors, such as how the animal moves. But we notice how different they are when they meet face to face. It's hard to imagine what can happen in these epic face-offs. But you're about to see some of the most astounding animal battle royales. 15 times sea animals messed with the wrong opponent. Moray Eel vs. Octopus Both the moray eel and the octopus are legendary sea creatures, but for unique reasons. Octopi are considered one of the smartest, if not the smartest, creature to inhabit the ocean. And the moray eel is a dangerous, powerful predator that even the alpha predators of the ocean would think twice about attacking. This footage just goes to show that anything is fair game when it comes to the open ocean, even amongst creatures that don't often fight one another. To be fair, the octopus is an easy prey for most predators, so long as they can find them. The octopus' strengths lies in its brain and camouflage ability, not its ability to do battle. If one gets caught off guard or spotted, the octopus has little chance of winning the encounter. This is evident with this footage as the creature is seen scooting along the bottom of the ocean when it's attacked by a fearsome moray eel. The eel manages to rip a tentacle off before the octopus escapes and disappears. Crazy events like this happen in the ocean every single day. It would be a scary place to visit, that's for sure. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. This is definitely the moment a sea animal messed with the wrong animal. Problem is, both these animals are very comfortable in the ocean. So, in the battle of the saltwater crocodile versus sharks, who would win in a fight? Based on this image, there's a clear winner. This giant, salty, is easily 10 times larger than this shark. What if we wanted to take the contest to the highest level and put a great white shark versus a saltwater crocodile? Who wins this match? Both animals are among the largest of their species and are recognized as apex predators in their environments. Great whites are typically bigger, but these crocs have a stronger bite. The sharks are equally terrifying, locating their enemies using specialized sensory organs and then attacking from the deep. Crocodiles will often use a death roll to disorient their prey and rip off chunks of flesh. So, who would win? Let us know along with the rest of the world and use the hashtag SweetTopic. Mantis Shrimp vs. Octopus It is creatures like the mantis shrimp that make the ocean a nightmare. The worst part of it is that this creature only measures about the size of an average shrimp, just a few inches long at best. The infamous mantis shrimp scares the heck out of scientists, as it should you too. Mother Nature pulled no punches when she created this one, and that's quite literal. Since it typically measures less than six inches long, the mantis shrimp has earned the title of hardest hitting living thing on the planet, and that's downplaying the power of it. Many researchers have referred to it as the boxer of the sea, and with this footage of it fighting an octopus with ease, it's easy to understand why. Pound for pound, no other animal on the planet can stand a chance. Thanks to the club-like appendage on their arms, called dactyls, they have quite an advantage. They use them to pounce their prey and often punch right through their hard shells, like a brick wall. No shell in the ocean can save it from this little guy's punches, making them one of the most fearsome predators in all the sea. According to reports, they can rocket out punches at a whopping 50 miles an hour. That's faster than igniting a 22 caliber bullet. When this shrimp hits, it can strike with over 160 pounds of force, plenty to crack a human skull and kill them. As you can see, this octopus is no cause for concern for this little creature, and when he gets riled up, he doesn't stop until the job is done. Clam vs. Starfish Galicia, located in northwest Spain, has declared war on a seemingly inoffensive creature said to be putting many livelihoods under threat. The shellfish farmers say that the unusually massive population of starfish has started devouring their vital crops of mussels, cockles, and clams. Thanks to months-long battle to call the creatures, they finally obtained permission from the regional government to begin the call, and divers have been hauling up hundreds of kilos a day since. They also introduced a more defensive clam, and as you can see from this footage, it's not going to lie down and be consumed by the starfish. With its powerful appendage, it opens the shell and literally rockets itself out from danger of the starfish. 
The sunflower starfish uses its thousands of spindly-like legs to move and slowly digest its prey. By secreting a digestive liquid from the tendrils, it slowly starts to break down whatever it has within its grasp, typically mussels, clams, or cockles. If this clam hadn't skedaddled out of the way, he would have ended up star food, which sounds much better than it is. Shrimp vs. Dragonfish Shrimp are actually formidable creatures of the sea. Sure, they aren't to a shark or anything much larger than that, but creatures of about the same size and weight have a tough battle ahead. After all, they're equipped with powerful arms and legs and armor strong enough to protect them from most similar-sized predators. In fact, if we're talking the same weight group, the shrimp holds the title as one of the best of all time. It's evident as this shrimp and dragonfish decide to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and the dragonfish gets his butt kicked. The shrimp pulls him down to the ocean floor and eats it alive. Bet you'll think twice about shrimp at your next cocktail hour. Snake vs. Eel If you were ever wondering what would happen should two serpentine species like an eel and a snake get into a battle, then here's the footage. In a rare observation, a deep sea diver managed to capture this footage of a sea snake taking on a moray eel. Both are vicious predators with equal fighting power. The twisting, almost mesmerizing dance the two display, while entangled, is nothing short of stunning. It's hard to even comprehend the violence being done when there are so many shapes being created. It almost has the appeal of watching a fire. The snake of question is the banded sea crate, often found in the coral reefs in eastern India and the western Pacific Oceans. These snakes in particular are actually eel hunters and have the right adaptations to deal with the predators. There aren't many species that can take on a moray eel and survive. This snake was born for it. They use a powerful toxin to paralyze their prey and then proceed to swallow it whole, as most snakes do. Seabirds, sharks, and some bony fish find the sea crate a delicious meal. Giant Fish vs. Bird Looks like the ocean is taking the fight back to the birds. For quite some time, rumors of mythical bird-eating fish spread throughout cafeteria chit-chat among biologists. Whispers of such creatures existed, but no recorded observation or eyewitness from a credible source had been had. Imagine the surprise when a biologist and the director of David Attenborough's new Blue Planet 2 film recently received a call from, let's just say, someone who knew someone who knew a fisherman in South Africa who had seen said bird eating fish for real and had proof. Thank goodness they set aside their skepticism and went to check out the claims for themselves because when they got there, they managed to score some of the first ever footage of their own. The team was elated with their discovery, as anyone who had first recorded something like that would be. This is the first of its kind. You're seeing history in the making. <laughs> Hammerhead Shark vs. Stingray Sharks are typically more aggressive than stingrays, but a stingray can hold its own should the situation arise. Sometimes creatures are unaware of the surprise that's in store for them when they mess with stingrays. Normally, this type of attack wouldn't surprise most scientists or observers, but the fact that it happened at a family-friendly aquarium makes the situation all the worse. It's just another example of the fact that these are still wild animals, meaning that they're highly unpredictable, especially when frustrated or stressed. Hey, humans can be like that too, just hopefully without the need for biting someone as much. Mother Nature will never be tamed and evidence keeps on popping up to prove it. How would you feel if you were at an aquarium and saw this? Some would be thrilled, others disgusted. Either way, it's all a part of nature and humans can do their darndest to try and change it, but it always seems to come back around. Sea Turtle vs. Shark Giant sea turtles may be slow, but they know how to put on a defensive stance strong enough to ward off the most fearsome of predators. Thanks to an amazing hard shell and a bite that could tear through shark flesh like butter, turtles are fair contenders in a battle, even against a shark, as seen in this footage. The turtle will hunker in, and when the shark swims around it, it springs its head out to nip at it. When it makes contact, the shark is sorry it even dared. This of course is dangerous for the turtle, who is literally sticking its neck out there for biting. If the shark gets a good enough angle, the turtle could be in a dangerous spot. In this ferocious battle of ancient species, it comes down to a subjective view of each involved in the scenario. Sometimes the turtle comes out on top, and sometimes the shark does. 
crab vs sea urchin. While it's an unlikely matchup, you can't argue with how entertaining it is to watch them go at it. Respectfully, the crab goes at it and the sea urchin just sits there all spiky. Don't be fooled by the sea urchin's passiveness. One prick from one of those spines could cause some serious harm to the crab and hurt like heck for a human. Believe it or not, sea urchins are actually a vital part of the Earth's ecosystem. Crabs, on the other hand, are just enjoying the feast. When the sea urchins died due to an unknown disease not too far in the past, the biodiversity of marine life of the coral reefs suffered. The subsequent algae growth stunted and even reversed the development of coral, and the fish and other living animals on the reefs declined drastically. While the crab is one of the most predatory species, it doesn't have many other enemies that can withstand the sting, let alone roll it around in such a manner. Seal vs Octopus This is a scenario when an octopus can be a dangerous threat. While they don't often attack huge prey like a seal, they can and will if they feel the need to be defensive. Since they can't eat huge things like seals, unless they're dead, they typically won't go and attack one. They scrounge about the ocean floor for small fish and shrimp alike, whatever they can fit into their mouths. This seal must have ventured too close to a nest because this octopus is angry. While they're known to be passive creatures, they're also known to be ferocious protectors of their young. While it was never confirmed here that it's what's going on, the experts that weighed in on the matter say that it's likely the case here on account of how fierce the octopus looks in the battle. It isn't giving up until the seal gets out of the water entirely or it wins the fight. You have to give it credit for being such an amazing protector. It's crazy that this occurred at all, let alone while some walkers were just happening by and caught the whole thing on camera. Thank goodness for the internet and modern camera technology, right? Orcas vs Seals There is little that can stand up to the might of the orca. There's reason they're referred to as killer whales. Seals, unfortunately for them, are one of orcas' favorite meals. Being as large as they are, orcas used to hunt by their lonesome. But changing ocean conditions has revealed new packs of the efficient killers. What's causing all the whales to form bands of unstoppable groups now? Your guess is as good as the experts' guess at the moment. They believe that orcas are wisening up and preparing for the long, hard road ahead, whatever that entails. Better form incredible strong packs of whales early on before the waves get really rough, metaphorically speaking, of course. Poor seals, they really don't stand a chance against a band of killer whales like this. The predators know it too. Didn't anyone teach those whales not to play with their food? They're clearly exerting their dominance in this area of the ocean and are having a good old time all while doing it. Getting smacked around like that can't be good for anybody. Polar Bear vs Walrus Any kind of bear is a fierce predator. The bigger, the badder in their case, and polar bears are no exception to this rule. When hungry, they'll charge headfirst into a whole band of walruses just hanging out. Most of them will flee, but one will usually get captured. The battle that ensues is one of massive weight and for life. While the walrus is fighting for survival and the polar bear is a beast of a predator, it isn't without its tricks. Its huge weight, for one, is hard to maneuver and bite. On the polar bear's end, it's his duty to choose a suitable one that can be eaten and give the least resistance. Typically younger, smaller, or older are chosen before they go charging in for the kill. Heck, even after the polar bear gets a hold of the walrus, the others have a hard time escaping. Perhaps because they're so large, they can barely move around. In fact, that's what happens time and time again as they try to escape the impending attack. Who knows when this polar bear will stop? If more bears are on the way, these walruses have quite a battle on their hands. Imagine that sort of medieval fight across the ice. Shark vs Hippo It isn't every day a shark gets a hippo for a meal. Or is that not the way that it went? Hippos are pretty fierce creatures themselves. Despite their dopey appearance and herbivorous diet, these mammals are equally powerful. For good reason, they don't often hesitate to attack anyone who approaches their territory. These bites could smash a shark like a watermelon, so it better not get caught up in the mouth of one of these behemoths. The sharks, on the other hand, have its speed on its side. That's until the rest of the hippos join in and get to work. When that happens, the shark has little chance of winning that fight. Heck, 
One good step or rollover could leave the shark in an unfavorable scenario, pinned against the ground and within the reach of the hippos. The shark tries to single out one of the straying hippos, but even one is still quite a monster to have to defeat. Gotta give that shark mad respect for trying to fight a hippo of that size. Boxer Crab vs. Pufferfish This pufferfish chose the wrong opponent when it tried to take a bite at this golden glove. For a long time, scientists believed these crabs were holding sea anemones in its claws, giving it the appearance of gripping cheerleader pom-poms, just for fun. With further developments, researchers have revealed that these genius creatures actually clone their favorite accessory, and they aren't for cheering, they're for battling. Known as a boxer crab or cheerleader crab, it clips off a section of sea anemone and then splits it in two, one for each pincer. The split sea anemones regenerate on their own over a few days. The boxers then use these anemones like electrified boxing gloves, smacking away any predators foolish enough to challenge it to a few rounds in the ring, like this pufferfish who wasn't expecting such a brave little fighter. Using weapons outside of your body is said to be of heightened intelligence, much like humans did when they first evolved. They sure know how to put on a show, somebody should put them on primetime TV. The mystery of how these crabs got their pom-poms may be solved, but it doesn't make those fast jabs and powerful uppercuts any less amazing to watch. Beware the bobbit worm The behavior aggressive doesn't typically come to mind when you hear the name worm. The insane bobbit worm is a hyper-aggressive worm that can grow to be as large as 10 feet long. To make matters even scarier, they're agile and possess hundreds of sharp teeth to saw through their prey. If this worm decided to take a bite out of you, it tries to do so by slicing you in half, as it often does its prey before consumption. These nightmarish worms are nothing to scoff at and are worth avoiding. This little horror isn't finished quite yet. Its body is also covered with stinging bristles that cause permanent numbness to anything it manages to sting. You heard that right, permanent as in gone, forever. These creatures sit at the bottom of the sea hidden beneath the sand and wait for their prey to either stroll past or swim close enough for them to lash out and strike. It'll pop its head out every once in a while to survey the area, and whether revealing itself would be fruitful or not, they can lie and wait for hours, days and weeks on one meal. So they're particularly dangerous on account of their patience. When it comes to the creatures in the sea, they can be clownish or downright nightmare-inducing. Life in the ocean is hard living, no matter the species. You never know what crazy creature is hiding under that rock or in that hole just waiting to kill and eat you. You may even be one of those creatures. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, or fish-eat-fish. -fish. As you can see, some of the creatures on this list you'd want to avoid even as a human. You don't see many people running straight up to bears these days, do you? If you are, perhaps you should second guess what's going on in the place that you live. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.